Okay, so I mentioned short sizing. I'm actually going to just going to do a sizing and just pairs that I wear kind of video. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's crack on. So first pair up, Mitchell and Ness Swingman. Um, they are mesh um, short. Um, pretty high quality, I would say. This pair is the Grizzlies. It's like a second or third sh um, strip. Um, and I, lo I just love the hit of teal on there. I actually have the full teal one. And this strip down the bottom is this kind of like cardinal red. <clears throat> um, but then the sort of Vancouver Grizzlies. And it's got the, the Grizzly, obviously, on here. Um, NBA. And then you have... Sometimes they have like the year. They're usually like throwback type ones. Um... And I wear a large, so I wear a large in this in these pants. They kind of fit to the knee, um, so this is like on the longer side. If I want a more relaxed fit, I usually go with them because um, they're like less less of that kind of above the knee aesthetic. Um, slightly more kind of like actual basketball type of fit that you might that you might wear. Um, and then yeah, they retail at eighty. They usually go on sale, and you can usually get them 55, 65, somewhere around there. Um, I'm just going to compare them in terms of sizing to the kit I mentioned, you know, that, that, that these ran a little bit smaller. Um, so if I kind of overlay that on top, hopefully, and also with this video, I forgot to mention, I'm looking to do this from biggest to smallest. Um, and I've done that by eye, so hopefully um, I was correct um, in my interpretation. Um, yeah, clearly you can see here, the actual width of the leg is pretty similar, but I want to say that's a couple of inches shorter. Um, so either an inseam or the total seam, depending on which one you, you use for your measurement. But like clearly the kith, um, kith pair is, you know, that much smaller. These retail for, I want to say about 120, so they're a lot more expensive than the Mitchell and Ness. I also go with a large. Um, I would say value for money is about comparable. Um, they are more expensive, but they're also more premium. They're heavier, even though they're smaller, they're actually heavier. And like part of that weight is to do like metal, metal um, ends on the strings and stuff. Also, there's a kind of some kind of element to the kith piece in that they're only really going to be online for a, a, a month or so, and then they kind of gone forever. Whereas, you know, the million websites on um, where you can get um, Swingman, Mitchell and Swingman stuff. So they're a bit more, I guess. Um, exclusive and the packaging kind of um, also plays up to that difference in price. The next pair I'm gonna show is Jordan brand. Um, Jordan brand and Anna Manier. Um, so this is an extra large and you can see the difference here in the waist size. So you can see that um, both the, the larges ended here. So I think on the waistband size, they're actually true to size because this is an XL and it's like that much different. I'm just gonna lay it on top at the same height so you can see the difference in the leg. So basically, Jumpman or Jordan brand shorts for me fit true to size on the waist versus both Mitchell and Ness and Kith, but they basically fit about the same length as the Kith, maybe, I wouldn't even say halfway between the two, maybe a quarter of the way between the two. Um, just shoot move this up. So about a quarter of the way between the two in terms of length, like closer to the kith, kith sorry, so much closer to kith. So basically, if you want something that fits like a swing man on the width, on the, on the waist up here, but fits a bit shorter like a pair of kith, um, then yeah, these, these are good. And I also wanted to compare them to my non-collab. So this is just general Jordan brand. Um, they do a bunch of diamond shorts, satin diamond they're called. Um, and the reason I went with the XL in the in, in Amamanyers is I already had these in XL. As you can see again, from the width perspective, they're true to size. And both of them, it's the same company. But these guys are almost as long as the as the Mitchell and Ness. And you can see here, shift the whole thing up again. Looks like maybe an inch. So again, this is now three quarters of the way towards the Mitchell and Ness. So they kind of fit, they fit pretty big. Um, I guess they all fit pretty similar 
true to size on the waist. It's just about the, the length of them. And generally the length and the, and the, and the width at the bottom of the pant or the bottom of the short is pretty comparable. Um, so on top of that, the next one we go with is a pair of Ferro God. Again, we're back to the large. So the thing with the Ferro God is not is not just that the the at the waist they fit pretty true to size versus all of the other ones because this is back down to a large again. Um, but what you find with with these is that the the width of the leg is much smaller. So comparing it to the Jordan brand, like here, this difference here is actually slightly bigger than this difference here, if that makes sense. Um, and also if we like kind of roll a few of these up, you can compare, like it's much smaller here versus that this is an XL. The Kith is an L. I think they're probably the most comparable. Yeah, they're about the same on the on the leg. The parrot, the kith, and the feral god for me fit almost identical. So that's that. <clears throat> oh, and this pair is the um, spring summer twenty twenty two drop two light oatmeal um, when he introduced the seventy seven. Okay, so the next pair, H&M, I want to say they are called light, uh, they are called regular fit sweat shorts, I think. And I went with a large, as you can see here. So again, yeah, regular fit. So they fit pretty similar to Fear of God. I, I, the best way to describe the H&M shorts are they're kind of like a very cheap alternative to, to Fear of God. And I wouldn't say like cheap from a end product perspective, just purely the price. So you can see the the le the the leg is slightly narrower than the Fira Gods, um, but in terms of the aesthetic, they're all monochrome. Um, sometimes the the, the drawstring is the same color as the short. Uh, I have like three or four of these. I have a tan pair, a a green, a really light kind of like almost wasabi green, and then this kind of peach. Um, they're really good for runners. I wear these a lot with runners. Um, the next pair of shorts is a bit wacky and a bit out there, um, but I wanted to kind of show another style that I wear, and this is this is basically Paxan Swimline. Um, so they're called, well, they're, yeah, they're just the Swimline here. I go and I take an XL in Paxan, and the main reason for that is, as you can see here, the leg, the bottom of the leg, and XL in Paxan is the same as an L in. Um, H&M, so that works, it's exactly the same. So basically it's a it's an XL, but it fits like an L, I would say. Um, and this is the 17 inch, um, I wanna say that's the out seam, or the, the edge bit is the 17 inch. They do 17, 16, 17, no, sorry. They do 15, 16, and 17 in the Pakistan swim line. Their colors and the designs they have are amazing. Like I could, I, if, Time, money, storage space with no issue. I could buy 15 pairs a year um, and be quite happy. And they're really good because you can wear them swimming, but you can also really, e really easily fit them with, um, I go with usually with runners and the colors are amazing. The patterns are really nice. The quality is really good for the for the, for the price. Um, and they go really well with runners. Generally speaking, these are usually 35 to 45 bucks. They always go on sale. I've got, um, pairs for as little as eleven dollars before, um, so again the value is good as long as you don't have to have them the second they drop. And then the other end of the Paxson spectrum, I'll just line these up at the top, is the I want to say this is the fifteen. So again here you can see like, the difference is a couple of inches in the leg length. Um, so imagine this bit versus this bit. Um, yeah, so th this is the fifteen inch. This is a of red, red, white, and blue. Um, they look a lot like swim shorts, but actually I kind of usually, I match these a lot with my anniversary, anniversary, uh, anniversary red OG MX1s. And I wear these a lot with my Ronnie Kith, Ronnie Feig, sorry, um, Yoshino Rose Jarlite 3s, because they they have really similar pink hits to them. Um, so yeah, each of the pairs of shorts, I will endeavor to put an image up here 
um, showing like the price and the website and the listing and what that looks like for each of the pairs. So I've probably skipped over some, some detail there. Um, but yeah, hopefully that kind of gives a good idea for like a bunch of, um, of, of brands that I kind of think that look really good. Um, may do some follow-up videos specifically on any one of these brands um, at, at some point, but who knows? Let's see. Um, yeah, that's over and out from me.